Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me today. Before we begin, I would like to open with the invocation. If you would take this time to set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. Beautiful. So I've got a new deck we're using today, the Conscious Spirit Oracle by Kim Dreyer. They're beautiful cards and beautiful messages. So we're going to take the top three off the deck. And here we go. I pulled this card when I first got up this morning. Fire Elemental, number 14. I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the divine. Isn't a gorgeous picture? Look at her. She's, she's open. She's allowing the energy to flow through her. Those are salamanders there on her dress. Um, uh, yeah, I learned it from an earlier reading. I don't, I don't know why they're connected to the flame and the fire element. Maybe they'll tell us here. And the book says, The element of fire is an extremely powerful force and must be handled with caution. It is associated with will, passion, and change. Fire represents the divine spark that resides within all of us. This card is asking you to find the fuel that ignites this spark. Finding your bliss will assist you in connecting to the divine. The energy of fire will stimulate your passion and determination, which will help you through the changes in your life. This card could be telling you that the to flow more easily through the changes in life, you need to reignite your passions. Move your life in the direction where your passions lie. Make choices based on what makes you happy, not what others want or expect. Candles and flame are associated with this element. Salamanders are symbolic of their energy, and they help in releasing old patterns to make way for the new. Well, that is an awesome card to open with um, midweek here, as, as a lot of us are, as a lot of people in the world feel the, the work week and the load wearing on them in an extreme amount in this day. Um, this is a good energy to have. This is a good element to to bring into your life, to allow the passions. Look at her. She just looks, um, she's looking up. She's open, complete faith in the universe that what she's going through is serving. And that is, you know, because she has that connection to the divine, she is completely secure in that. And card two. Uh, I pulled, anyway, it's a beautiful card. Number nine, Archangel Raphael. I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life. I I love his hair, his, his bracelet, his adornments he has, and this swirl around the, the beam of light is just, it's very uh, uh, drawing me in, <laughs> having trouble looking away. Archangel Raphael, this is from the book, is the angel of healing and knowledge. His name, mean, <clears throat> his name means God has healed. Call upon Raphael to bring mental, emotional, and physical healing into the areas of your life you are struggling with. Perhaps there is a health issue that you have been ignoring and you need to seek professional help. Don't ignore your body signs that there are imbalances. Raphael supports all of life on this planet. This card could also be asking you to help others find their own path of healing by working with the angels. If you are a healer, bring the light and love of Raphael into the healing techniques you already use to strengthen them. 
Raphael can help you balance your chakras, boost your immune system, and teach your body to learn to heal itself. Always remember to heal yourself before embarking on a journey to heal others. It's beautiful. So this weekend, um, there will be some healing, whether it's you offering healing to, to others or um, you healing yourself, uh, beginning the journey of, of knowing that you can. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. Uh, it's a beautiful journey that, to be able to take yourself on. Um, and I, I fully recommend it to, to everyone, you know. Believe in the power of, of yourself. The human body is an amazing thing, and the spirit of the divine that flows through it accomplishes incredible feats. <laughs> In the beginning of next week, Monday, Tuesday, number 19, a nurturing heart, mother. I am a protective spirit and reach out to all of lo life with love and compassion. Isn't that beautiful? It's got the fairy there with the baby. And then it's got the, the wolf in protection. And there's all these feathers here floating around. There's more angels around. There's the love and light of the divine coming through. And they're sitting, looks like, on a cloud. It's gorgeous. And Kim says... The feminine spirit is the protective, nurturing energy within the universe. It is time to awaken this energy within your heart and allow it to flow lovingly out across the universe. You must once again take back this feminine power and nurture your children, family, friends, yourself, animals, plants, and Mother Earth. Protect them from that which does not serve the greater good. Only through love and nurturing can you heal wounds. Life is the greatest gift you've been given. By awakening this powerful energy, not only do you bring healing and love to all, but you also show your gratitude to your higher self, Mother Earth and to Source. Awaken the Mother within you. Become, the one, become one with Mother Earth. Stand firm and strong by her side and spread your motherly love and compassion to every corner of the universe. So, that's actually a very gentle energy to begin a week with. So, we have this fiery passion that's going to carry us through into the weekend. Um, and maybe, maybe all that fire and passion and and opening and connecting to the divine may stir up some of the remaining issues that in your life that, that require Raphael to come help um, heal and open your heart to the knowledge of, of the highest perspective. If you're having issues dealing with or trouble dealing with something that has happened in the past and you just keep seeing it from the same perspective, maybe this weekend is a great time for you to open up and ask Raphael to heal this wound and to show you a higher perspective that you can see this incident from so that you can allow it to heal and to move beyond it. And then in the beginning of next week, a nurturing heart and mother, a very protective spirit, but not one that is, that is angry or confrontational, one that is, is reaching out and sending love and compassion to the world. Because the mother knows that love and compassion are truly the only, the only 